We live in amazing times. We are amazing beings. We have the ability to speak words of life. We have the ability to speak words of hate. We have the ability to edify. We have the ability to pull down. All with this thing here. There's lots of proverbs that talks about the power of your words. From the fruit of their lips, people are filled with good things and the work of their hands brings them the reward. The words of the reckless pierce like swords, but the tongue of the wise brings healing and truthful lips will endure forever, but a lying tongue lasts only a minute. Words are an incredible part of our society and an incredible part of us as individuals. How we talk, how we communicate is vital. And I, I get that there's the kind of, there's the giving of words and the receiving of words and, and both carry different responsibilities. But my focus today talking to you on this beautiful day is how do we use our words for the benefit of those around us, to edify, to build up, to encourage, not to tear down, not to destroy, not to disparage. I love some of the words and prayers that Jesus did, actually. Well, who doesn't, I suppose? Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man and said, I am willing. What an awesome prayer. I'm willing. Be clean. Five words. Immediately, he was cleansed of his leprosy. Lazarus, come out. Three words. An awesome prayer. But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. So he said to the paralysed man, Get up, take your mat and go home. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight words. Prayers. Prayers are full of words sometimes. But Jesus often withdrew to lonely places to pray. Maybe I'm confusing two things here, but our words are mightily powerful. Lazarus come out was a prayer that raised a man from the dead, a man that had been dead for three days. We have the ability to speak life because the Holy Spirit resides in us. We need to choose our words carefully. We need to be able to edify and encourage and build up each other. The words of the reckless pierce like a sword. How do we make sure that we guard our words? It's by withdrawing often to pray. It's by letting the Holy Spirit in. And so I encourage, encourage you today, as I break my knee on the desk, that you have the ability to close your eyes and rest in the space that the Holy Spirit occupies. You do not have to strive for it. You just have to acknowledge it. And ask that your words bring life and ed education and edification. Have an amazing day.